Well, good morning. Thought we'd do a follow-up cold start since I put the new carburetor on. It's been sitting, I don't know, two weeks? Because I fired it up over there and moved it over here closer to the house. But this old 75 K20, y'all know it, so it's got long tube headers just in case anybody's curious, which no one asked, so no. But that's the carburetor I put on it. No choke. It actually originally off that cute little thing. But it needs a bigger one now. And it actually runs on this big block pretty good. So, why don't me and Bella see if we can fire this big old turd up? Let me hop up in. Alright. Let's try that. Not cool. Ah, come on. Help it when the key turns. is not it? There. Alright. And we got power, a couple extra. I say it's 29 degrees on the weather report earlier. That's about five minutes ago. There we go. I like that new carb. I think it does pretty good on here. It is only a 650, but there you go. You know what? I'm feeling pretty generous. Why don't I start up that guy for us too? I can't zoom it in. Dang it. It's fuel injected, but it sounds pretty cool. It takes a little bit to crank up. Well, we'll let this warm up. Give her a couple of vroom vrooms in the ripums. All right, let's let it warm up. We'll get back to it. I love straight pipes. All right, let's go start up another straight pipe. Jim is a 1992 Chevy K1500, and it's a good old work pickup when the four-wheel drive works on it, especially. And it currently keeps my Miller Bobcat 260 in it. That's a good machine right there. Recommend it. All right. Let's fire this pooch up so I can get to work. 